I remember one time my older brother, Mr. Perfect, and I were wrestling in the kitchen. Now, I was in the kitchen first. I was eight years old. And I was in the kitchen first. And he came walking through my kitchen where I was first. And he, and he had this look on his face. Have you ever seen anyone with that look? <laughs> the look that says, I need to be slapped. <laughs> well, what was I to do? <laughs> I walked over and slapped him. <laughs> Next thing I knew, I was on the floor. He had me by the throat. I was pounding him in the face. We were having a wonderful time. There's only one problem. Mama was in the kitchen. And you know, I have never, ever, ever whipped my brother. I have tried. I'm 31 now and he's 33. And I still can't whip him. We've wrestled all our lives and I tried to whip him, but I... But one of these days, he's gonna get old. As soon as arthritis kicks in, I'm breaking his face. <laughs> But we were wrestling in the kitchen, knocked over a couple of chairs. We were headed for the china cabinet when we heard this come from the sink where Mama was washing the dishes because Mama had enough. <laughs> Did your mom ever have enough? <laughs> you know, when I, I was growing up, Mama would say, Mark, I just about had enough. I'd say, well, help yourself. There's plenty more. <laughs> Oh, when I got too big to whip, you know, I was about 15 and I, Mama was trying to whip me. <laughs> I'd be looking at my watch. Or I'd say, ooh, a little more to the left. <laughs> she didn't like that. But I wasn't too old to whip this day and I was eight, like I told you. And me and my brother were having a great time. We didn't even know she was in the world until we heard this come from the sink. And I wish that God would build on the back of every mother's head a little red light that would start flashing 10 seconds before enough. You can make a lot of tracks in 10 seconds. But without any warning, Mama had enough. And she threw herself over the kitchen sink and this is what we heard. I failed, I failed, I failed. Lord, forgive me for failing with these boys. My brother and I, we quit fighting and we went. This is a lot better than our fight. Mama was pitching a fit. Oh! Ah! <laughs> was just standing there watching her. All of a sudden, the phone started ringing. Bring. Bring. Phones ring weird in Texas. Bring. Mama didn't even let up. Ah! I was thinking to myself. I wonder who's gonna get the phone. My brother was thinking, not me. <laughs> and that left mama, and she's in no condition to answer the phone. Tears are dripping off her cheeks. This was major cry here. <laughs> but slowly she turned and started walking towards the ringing phone. And she's still crying. I immediately started fasting and praying. <laughs> I said, oh dear God, <laughs> dear Lord, Please don't let that be daddy on the phone. <laughs> God, I'll go to Africa. <laughs> I'll wear polyester Bermuda shorts for the rest of my life. <laughs> Lord, I'll marry a woman with a monkey on her head. <laughs> but don't let that be daddy on the phone. Mama's walking the phone. I can't believe the way you boys treat your mother. <laughs> I went through the valley of the shadow of death to give you birth. <laughs> Between the two of you, I've been in labor half my life. 
and you treat me like dirt. <laughs> oh, she put her hand on the phone. She's still crying. I'm still praying. I can't believe it. <laughs> Hello. 